These coworkers have the same title, work the same hours, and earn the same wages. But one gets his food from the grocery store, and one gets his food from his local food pantry while he catches up on some bills. In fact, of everyone Karen Share feeds, 42% have to choose between buying food and paying utilities. 44% have to choose between buying food and paying rent. And 33% have to choose between buying food and paying medical bills. Food insecurity is invisible, and we can't always know who is in need. But when you donate, you're helping to feed your community. A well-fed community is able to overcome its challenges, and our community becomes all the stronger. In Southern Colorado, no one should go hungry. With your help, no one has to. Hosting a food drive is a great way to get your organization involved in giving back. To plan a food drive, you simply need to know who will participate, where the food drive will be, and when the food drive will take place. Then, promote your food drive. Give your participants some guidelines of what items to bring. Some of the most needed items are canned fruit, canned vegetables, soup, canned meat and tuna, peanut butter, cereal, and oatmeal. But the most effective way to give is to donate financially. For every dollar, Karen Share can provide up to eight meals for an individual. When your food drive has ended, pack up your donations and deliver them to the Karen Share Food Bank. If you don't have the space to host a food drive, consider hosting a virtual food drive. For more information, and to submit your application, visit us at careandshare.org. This video was made in partnership with the UCCS Bachelor of Innovation.